Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm doing a match review as the Saddlers have drew back to back games as we've drawn 1-1 away at Morecambe. Before we get into this video, if you're going to enjoy it, please leave it a like. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Daryl Clark made one change to the side that drew 1-1 against Oldham Athletic with Stuart Sinclair coming in to the side for Alfie Bates. Derek Adam named an unchanged side to the one that lost 2-0 against Leighton Orient playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. At the start of the game, Zach Jules nearly got his second goal in as many matches as he met a Jack Nolan corner, but his effort was blocked off the line by Adam Phillips. Liam Kinsella made a superb tackle on the edge of the box to deny Cole Stockton, and he started the game really well, putting his body on the line as per usual. Wes McDonald had a chance inside the box when Jack Nolan found him, but he slashed his effort wide. As Walsall started to build a bit of pressure, the Saddlers took the lead and made it 1-0. Jack Nolan did brilliant again and then released Elijah Adebayo down the right-hand side, who put a superb ball into Josh Gordon. His first attempt was saved, but his second one was headed into the back of the net. That was pretty much the last chance of the half, and the Saddlers went into the half-time break, leading 1-0. Neither team had control of the second half in the opening 10 minutes, with Morecambe having a couple of free kicks which came to nothing. Gordon put a great ball into a large Radaboyo who his shot just hit the post which was looking to go into the back of the net. Morecambe were really piling on the pressure now and were looking for that equaliser. In the 66th minute Cameron Norman came on at right midfield for Jack Nolan. Walsall were calling for a penalty as Cameron Norman was taken down which looked like it was in the box but the referee gave a free kick just outside the box. In the 80th minute, the host made it 1-1 and equalised. A great ball from Ryan Cooney found Mendes Gomez and he put it into the back of the net. Morgan were pushing for that winner and were looking the more likely to get that goal, but both sides shared a point as the game finished 1-1. Another 1-1 draw which is a bit disappointing as we've drawn 11 games at the possible 24 league games which is nearly half of the amount of games we've drew. We were looking to keep another clean sheet and we're looking like we're going to do that until the 80th minute when Mendes Gomez scored that goal and took the clean sheet off us. We haven't kept a clean sheet, like I said, since November. I thought the game was very similar to the Oldham game as we didn't take our chances in the first half, which came back to bite us in the end as they got the equaliser. I think we went too defensive too early in the game and I thought if we didn't go defensive, we could have pushed to get another goal, which would have made us more comfortable in the game. My man of the match for tonight's game, I'm going to give it Liam Roberts. I thought he's superb in goal and made some brilliant saves to keep the score at 1-1, and it could have been more without him. Earlier on today, we announced a signing of Jaden Reed on loan to the end of the season from Birmingham City. Another loanee from Birmingham City, and I hope he doesn't end out like the way Aidan George did as he didn't get a single minute for Warsaw. But I think this is a good signing, as he'll give competitions to the striker, the likes of Keelan Lavery, Elijah Adebayo and Josh Gordon. He spent the first half of the season playing for Barrow, playing 12 games but didn't score a goal. But I'm happy with this signing, and welcome to the club, Jaden. Overall, it's not another... Overall, it's not really a good result, as we've had too many draws this season. But I guess a point isn't as bad as a loss at the end of the day. And we've got to take this and build on it as we go to Port Vale on Saturday. We do sit 12th in the league after that result. So hopefully a win against Port Vale can move, move us back up the league. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1.2k subscribers as soon as possible. So if you can help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Also leave your thoughts on the game. And up the Saddlers.